Hello everyone, this is Howard from Demi Arts Studios with yet another one of our extraordinary projects. Yes, that's right, the first of the first audio series at Demi Arts. Damn it, I cannot contain myself too much joy. Now, most of y'all haven't heard from us for quite some time now, or you haven't heard of us at all, and I'd, I'd like to destabilize Demi Arts for you. Well, Demi Arts kind of started back in the 20s, in the 90s, just joking. Demi Arts started in 2011 by three brothers, three brethren, who started this movement for the gospel of it. They were supposed to be a gospel movement that they could use to express their views about their beliefs. But with time, they realized that, uh, unfortunately, they had to let it go. Not because they did not appreciate it, but because they wanted to develop with other people as well. And so, to develop this, it then changed into much of a bigger academy and a growing record label. Thanks to all y'all, our fans. I mean, come on. It's because of y'all that today we are able to do all these things. And, you know, you made us reach this far and... Hope you'll be with us as we go through the journey together. Yeah, and so Demi Arch simply was started back about seven years, seven to eight years ago. And for the past three years, we have actually concentrated because I've been done with some of my schooling and so on. And that, that is a brief history of Demi Arch. Yeah. So I know y'all, y'all be wondering, like, what is this demotivation? Yeah, what is this stuff I've been seeing on all over Facebook? Like stuff, man. What is this? This man ain't trying to motivate us. Huh? What is this? Well, understanding devotion is simply having an open mind to certain topics in life. I mean, you have to really open up and let in whatever you have to and then finally decide to what you want to hear or whether you want or not to keep it. So demotivation simply stands for deciphering motivation. To decipher is simply, well, understanding and making simple of complicated things and motivation is actually the eagerness and willingness to actually achieve certain things without being forced or self uh, or self aspirations so to say we usually have self aspirations that we attain by ourselves and if you want to further understand demotivation just have an open mind like to why we spell pi with an i but buy with a y i mean why i'm trying not to sigh but i will not cry because it doesn't make any sense now i'm hungry for pie so what was i trying to say today's audio was simply an introduction to the demotivation and so that uh, you could follow us through with it but then apparently i felt uh, the need to simply scratch on uh, on a little something so that we can understand where we're coming from and where we're going uh, yeah so i recently completed my academic year at university yeah just on break and as on break you know what a brother gotta do he gotta watch a lot of series and he gotta watch a lot of tv uh, do some reading and a lot of writing composing you know how it is you know how it is bro yeah so as i was watching i think i was watching uh bbc entertainment that day yeah you know the cards and the stuffs i started to peruse through certain channels and then i found or stumbled upon this show called the second wife's club yeah th this show <laughs> I don't know what I can say. Not that I was watching it or anything. Nah, nah, Brian, that ain't me. That ain't me. I was actually perusing through, and you know that thing where they preview the next airing episode? So I got to see, and it's like uh, women in their mid to late 20s are marrying men or having uh, what we like to call relationships with men who are 50s and above and it is actually being publicized on public tv and I, I, if i wasn't wrong the rating must have been 13 13 man what i used to watch when i was 13 was teletubbies nothing more nothing less uh, not that, not that, yo, back in them days, I mean, you all y'all from way back, you know how it used to be. It was really strict, but then these days, damn, things have really changed. And on understanding this show, I I don't know why we're making these claims in the name of entertainment. Why why are we bringing all this out? I mean, the, the meaning is, okay, it's losing meaning, come on. What happened to good old-fashioned entertainment? Why, why, why does it gotta go? And I don't know how okay it is for, in fact, even parents to let their kids watch this or even how free people feel when they watch this. I mean, come on, what beliefs do we have that are left? I mean, this lifestyle is only making things, well, they seem to be more outside the 
outside the box like we're thinking outside the box literally so 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 high we stand on a pinnacle of success now with morals gone at it is seen by the press even animations got their defenses gone and on the next generation they focus on we need to understand that it's never been the minority in support of what is prior to deformity we gotta revert to hate rather than relate or tolerate our minds innovative goals mm. it is your choice to pick what is smarter i say it is time to demotivate our culture. Thank you all so much for listening into the first pilot series of the demotivation. Oh, come on. I really appreciate all the listeners we had and I hope you'll be with us as we continue this series. And please leave a comment and uh, say what you actually thought about this. You know, you can leave um, I say, hey, man, I appreciate that. Or like, hey, nigga, what, what's wrong with you? Want to keep on listening to my motivation? Come on. Stop this. Stop this. Come on. You can also hear us with a like. You can also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and also on Instagram. All our links is within our page on Facebook at Demi Arts. That is it. It is that simple. Come on, even yo, keep on the good, do better. Man, don't make it look as though we from a long time way back, bro. Nah, 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 we ain't got to look as though we from way back. So thank y'all. Hope to catch you on the next episode.